So we've got these three users, Bob Smith, Rudy Wells, and J.D. Hogg. These are going to be three members of an escalation team. First person who's going to get the notification is going to be Bob Smith. And then there's going to be 30 seconds. And if, uh, if the alarm is still in place after those 30 seconds, we'll move on to the next person on the escalation team. That's going to be this Rudy Wells. He'll go ahead and get the escalation. And if, again, 30 seconds goes by, we'll send it on to J.D. Hogg. Now, this is going to repeat every two minutes. So after we send the notification and escalate it, we'll start the whole thing over again. Two minutes after Bob Smith got the first escalation or the first notification, he'll get another one. That's if the notification still needs to be sent. And then we'll show you some bells and whistles. Like, for example, uh, we'd like to set it up so that uh, J.D. Hogg here, he's going to get a notification, a separate notification, uh, when the escalation or the notification is no longer in place. So, and he'll be the only one configured to do that. Let's take a look at what it looks like in the solution. Now, like almost all of our exercises, this one has a full solution. So if you want, you can go into the database called solution underscore notifications learning lab database. Go in there and you'll see this has already been configured. What we'll see is an escalation that looks like this or behaves like this, I should say. As you can see, this notification first fired off right here at 516 uh, p.m. and 42 seconds. So we sent an email to Bob Smith. Uh, these are the users that we call, uh, the, the users whose names begin with the word solution are the ones that we use for the solution exercise. Now you're going to be using just Bob Smith, Rudy Wells, and J.D. Hogg. In any case, this uh, Bob Smith received the escalation or received the notification, and then 30 seconds later, well, it ends up arriving 31 seconds is when it when it actually triggered. 30 seconds later, we escalate that to Rudy Wells, and then 30 seconds later, we escalate that to J.D. Hogg. Now that's where it sits until two minutes expires. If you notice this 516, and now at 5.18.42, exactly two minutes later, we will resend this as an email and then start the whole cycle over again. 31 seconds later, 30 seconds later, etc. And then two minutes later, we start the cycle over again. And just a bit of trivia, if any one of these folks uh, here, let's say Rudy Wells, acknowledges this notification, then he's going to be taken off of this, of this uh, circulation here. He's not going to receive any more emails. And of course, if the escalation is no longer necessary because the notification is not in place, the trigger isn't firing anymore, then none of them will receive any more uh, notifications. And when that happens, this uh, J.D. Hogg here, he's going to receive a final email saying that the escalation is no longer in place or the notification is no longer in place. I think I can show you that here. If you can see when this, at later on at 12.55 p.m., when this was no longer a notification that was triggering, then that's when we sent that final message to J.D. Hogg. Now, in order to implement this, we're going to create something called an escalation team. You'll notice there's an escalation team called uh, CDT Escalation that uh, contains those users. And we'll do that as part of the exercise. And again, as with all the other exercises, you will find a step-by-step -step solution. But see if you can do this using the approach first without looking at the step-by-step -step solution. I'm going to start this exercise by going back to that AF database that we used in the previous example. That was the database called Notifications Learning Lab database. Again, the solution one is where it's already been solved. And within here, the first thing I need to do is create this Thing called an escalation team. And you will notice the escalation teams, they are uh, something that will persist across all the different AF databases. So just like contacts are available to every AF database, uh, these escalation teams are the same. So in this learning lab environment, if you go into the section called escalation teams, you should see that there is an existing escalation team called solution underscore CDT escalation. It's what we're using for the solution. So in this case, what I'd like to do is a brand new escalation team. I'm going to call this what we've described in the solution. I'm going to call it the word CDT escalation. 
And I'm going to change the escalation period to 30 seconds. So what we're saying here is every 30 seconds, that's when we're going to escalate to the next user. Now, as we did in the previous exercise, we're going to find users using this contacts search over here. And we can search for all, this will search for all contacts. As I said, if you're using Active Directory, this will find all your Active Directory users. So in this case, I would like to grab uh, Bob Smith and drag him into this escalation team. And then let's go with the second is going to be Rudy Wells. I'll grab him and drag him to the escalation team. Now, as you just saw, when I grab the user by this, his name and drag it over, you're still going to have to choose which delivery method of the ones listed here. So if you simply select email, that'll just drop it and put it in place. And the last is going to be JD Hog. Again, let me show you what happens if you just drop the name. You then have to are prompted for all the different delivery mechanisms. Well, there's only one in this case configured. So we'll go ahead and select email. So this and this is the order in which these people are going to be notified. So you can change this order as you can see here using these arrow buttons there. Now if I did want to get a user who was not an Active Directory user, as we've seen before, we can create a, a contact that is not Active Directory. Uh, I would just choose New Contacts and create a user uh, like this user right here, Ken Lee. He simply has uh, got an, a, um, an email address that I can get access to through this SMTP server. So that's all that's required, just any email address that you can send email to. Now we said in the, ex the this exercise requires that JD Hogg actually is notified when the notification is lo no longer triggering. So if I do a right mouse click on here and choose Options, you'll see this option here called Notify on Close. I would like to make sure that Notify on Close is selected for uh, JD Hogg and not for the other two users. So I'll clear that on Rudy and Bob. As we've done before, we're going to go ahead and choose Check-in to make sure that this, uh, this newly configured escalation team is saved. So I'll go ahead and choose Check-in. We should see that little red uh, arrow goes away or mark goes away. I'll go ahead and refresh my screen, make sure that we've got everything listed uh, that's on here. And I'm going to switch over to my notification now.